since the ANC was hoping to avoid. There was talk that anti-Zuma supporters would disrupt proceedings. Some were arrested when they arrived at the venue. Inside, tensions mounted. The leadership in the province here, uh, together with the national leadership, has made a clarion call that people should come here respectfully to come and listen to the ANC leaders talking, particularly the president. And if people have any other ideas, they shouldn't be anywhere near here. Earlier in the day, barbed wire was thrown around the venue. Hundreds of police officers were deployed and an accreditation process to register all attendees. It was hoped this would ensure no disruptions. After Kam returned, President Zuma paid tribute to Madiba for his role in liberating the country. Even those who were and who are still fundamentally opposed to the ANC and who fought tooth and nail to keep South Africa a racist pariah state now claim Nelson Mandela as their own. Such is the power of Nelson Rodriguez Mandela, a unique and great statesman who is able to win over even his enemies. Earlier in the day, the president had to apologize for keeping traditional leaders in Sekukuni waiting. He also paid a courtesy visit to the king of the Vavenda tribe. The party will celebrate the life and times of Dr. James Moroga in the Northwest next month. Tulufeloma Tibedi, SABC News.